You have several options to add content to your workspace in Actively Learn. I'm going to start with their first one, which is to pull articles from their catalog. They have a really great filtering setup to filter different and look for different articles. They have several free options. The rental, I'll just show you very quickly. The prices differ for the different articles, but um, this one is 39 cents per student, and you get that for three months. So I'm going to take that back off, and I'm going to just look at the free for now. I can filter by school level. I can specify if I want it to already have an assignment included or not, which of course can all be edited. Page level, reading level, and then here's my subject area. So if I choose one of these, I can scroll back down and drill even further into the filter with specific standards for that subject. So these are the options based on my filter. Up here I can always um, close one of these out to change up my filter if, if one of those limited too much. This one I already have in my workspace so it'll tag what you've already got in there. When I click on one of these I get a little bit of information. Teachers, they give these articles um, that kind of go along with this one if you want to look at these other options. Down here it tells me how many questions are currently already in with this article and how many notes. But again, these can be changed 100%. You can add more questions. You can completely get rid of these questions. You can edit them in any, in any way. And you can also do the same with the notes. Other articles have a teaching guide. To go along with it, um, some of these include extension activities that you could take a look at. So this one has five questions, 15 notes. These are all the standards that it covers. I'm going to preview it to see what it looks like and look through all the notes and etc. Um, so here are all these notes. As you can see, some of them have media included, so you can add picture and video. As I scroll down, you'll see that these notes start to change in color. So the color is based on the type of note. So there's one, there are ones for meaning and evidence, key terms, main idea. So as you go through and make your notes, you have the option to color code them. Questions are embedded throughout the article. Actively Learn really encourages to ask questions throughout the article instead of waiting at the very end to ask all of them. So this is the particular question for each of these. And um, So let's say, yes, this looks good. You can add it to your workspace. And then I'm going to go into my workspace. So from here, I can um, organize and add folders and then I can drag and drop items in to organize all of this. So once it's in my workspace I can open this and completely edit the entire article. These notes if you noticed before were from Dr. Learn now they say me so when your student comes in here it will be your name in here and you can completely delete this or you can edit it and change the wording you can add media as I mentioned and you just paste in the URL of your video or image you can add new notes so if I highlight this sentence I can insert a note a link or a complete I can completely white this out so um, let's say this paragraph in particular is maybe not appropriate for some reason I can white it out and it just removes it from the article and the students won't see it and I'm going to restore it for now um, but I can add more notes and here I can select that category I was talking about where you can color code each of those and add your note um, I can also add in a question here uh, 
um, they recommend spacing out your questions again. Um, and I want to just tell it, yes, I still want this question in here, even though I understand. Do you want me to wait? Um, so you've got three options here, short answer, multiple choice, or poll. And with the free version, some of these options down here are not oh, um, available to you. So I'll go over that really quick. So here's my question one. I can select a standard, which helps with um, grading. See so if I go in here to save, it's going to make sure I don't. I want to leave that standard blank because it helps with the grading rubric. So yes, I'm going to add a standard. And then here are my options. Um, you can add another standard. You can add a depth of knowledge level. And you can add media with the free account. Adding extra help is part of the personal plan, or actually team plan. Um, adding a model response is a part of the one of the paid versions. You can allow a media response though with the free version. So if you want, if your question um, says find an image to demonstrate this key term. Um, students then have the option to paste in an image as their answer or a video and you can also change the weight of this um, particular question for your overall grading. So here's one of the questions that were already in here that you can completely edit. You can change into multiple choice or you can set it as a poll. Um, this extra help again that came from the original article and with the free version, extra help is not an option. So I'm not 100% sure if this extra help will show for the students. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So once you have um, worked on this and changed everything that you want, added new questions, removed the other questions you don't want anymore, here are some other things you can look at. You can view all the notes at once. You can view all the questions. Um, you can view the key vocabulary, um, which is not available for this particular article, but if there were key terms, they would be listed here that you could um, introduce to the students maybe beforehand. Printing, uh, printing in any area of actively learn is part of a paid version, so you would never be able to print one of these items. Um, authoring options, co-authoring is a paid version. Um, you can do this as a quiz with the free one if you wanted to. Um, you can also change your text settings. Um, this was a really interesting feature I thought was to use dyslexic settings. And you can see what it looks like back there. Uh, I'm just going to restore the defaults. And then I'm going to go back out to my workspace. From here, I can assign. And you just choose the article you would like to assign. And then you choose the class. Once you have classes set up, you tell to assign. And we will go into an article to see what it looks like once students start responding. The other ways to add content is you can import articles from the internet, your Google Docs, and a PDF. With the free version, you are limited to three uploads per month. Um, so just you know, plan accordingly. But here you just paste in your URL. You can see was popular. These are just some suggestions, but it can import any article. What I found to be nice was this particular article I imported, you know, it has their website information up here. Um, when I first came onto this page, I had a pop-up for subscribing to them. Here at the bottom is more of their information and um, similar articles. And sometimes, you know, you have lots of responses and comments after an article, which could take up another two or three pages of the website. When I imported that into my workspace, it, it cuts out all that extra stuff. It is just the article. 
And from here, right now I have zero questions and zero comments or notes, so I can add all of this information. So here are directions. I can add media again here. Um, if I want a pre-reading question before they get started, and I can just I can edit this one that I pulled in from the internet, just like I did the LED cell. So I can insert a note. This could be a key term. I can insert a link if I want them to explore even more along with that, um, and so on and so forth. And then all of that will be saved, and I'll go back to my workspace, and now here it's telling me I've got one note in there, whereas before I had nothing. The last thing you can add to your workspace is to create a quiz, and you would fill in this information, and this is what you get. Um, and this is just straight question and answer. If you wanted just a straight quiz, um, you can, it, it's the same exact format, short answer or multiple choice, or you can poll. Um, multiple choice will automatically grade because you can set the correct choice. Um, and then you'd have to go in and do your short answer grades individually if you just wanted a straight out quiz. So those are the options to add content to your workspace. You are able to organize it and drag and drop to keep this um, from getting a little too much. Your collaboration options, you cannot co-author on the free version, but you can send copies to a colleague. So if once I got this one the way I liked it, I could then send it to a colleague, um, this one, and they have to be part of actively learn already. They have to already have an account. Um, so then you would you know, start searching them and they should come up for our school and you could share it with them and then they would have access to it to assign to their classes and they can also make more changes and edit their own version. Under more, you have a few more options here that um, may come in handy if you want to add. Um, you can duplicate an article so that you can add more questions or take some questions away, maybe depending if you have a um, two different level classes that you want to read the same article but not answer the same questions. Um, so those are just a few more options to take a look at. But that is how you begin pulling in content to your workspace.